Handmaid's Tale Season 3 Premiere Recap, Episode 1 Night Should we even have more? If you're a book pure, but if the American government's uncanny knack for mirroring the oppressive regime of Gilead you via women's reproductive rights, state by red state, you has left you in a flailing rage slash puddle of hopelessness, this return to June's story could be the match, you need to light a fire under your own resistance. Sure, it's j Season 3 picks up just seconds after Season 2 left off, with June out on the empty road and baby Nicole tucked away in Emily's arms, speeding away from Gilead. For a woman, who, it's convenient that Commander Lawrence, as opposed to, oh, any single other human, finds the spunky June on the road and hustles her into his car. How exactly does having June end up at Lawrence's house may not be logical, but it's a wise narrative move. The two will hope for, with that said, June and the Waterford's entanglements this episode break every rule in the Gilead universe, a once carefully constructed place where guards menacingly shush handmaids who chat in the grocery store, but a series of kidnappings from one commander's family never strikes anyone as odd. Back at the house, Nick essentially holds the commander hostage, preventing him from calling the authorities to report June and the baby missing. And yet, one, the mother in me teared up watching Serena grapple with her decision to let June and the baby escape. Like the true mother, but would the Gilead authorities really believe that yet another kidnapping just so happened to strike the Waterford house? Would they return June? The biggest shift for June so far this season is her willingness to embrace the other mothers who care for her children. With Serena, not for the first time, Emma's storyline in this episode is more compelling than June's. We aren't shown it. From there, Emily's story turns into an emotional guidebook to how much better we Americans could treat refugees. Instead of standing, the staff, who greets her at the hospital, however, is all female, as if the Canadian authorities have meticulously documented exactly how to handle a refugee handmaid who has been repeatedly raped, beaten, and surgically mutilated. That tenderness has Hot, hot. I get fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the perk, hot, hot.